Hey guys, what's going on? Genebris here. Welcome back to the channel. So this is going to be my third video covering Cheap Breaker and some of the things that have come up with it. Now, one of my friends who lives in, near the EU, he actually lives in Britain, uh, told me about this General Data Protection Act or something, General Data Protection Regulation, which came into effect on the 25th of May of this year. Now, I did hear about this a little bit before, but he did bring up kind of how it could be related to Cheap Breaker or clients and anti-cheats in general. So this could apply to Cheap Breaker or Badline client, I'm pretty sure. Um, and it's actually very interesting because it actually affects uh, companies that are beyond the EU. So let me just go over this really quickly. So pretty much it uh, will affect companies located in and outside the European Union, and it gives consumers control of their data, which, you know, sounds pretty reasonable in my opinion, right? And it says uh, GDPR is a piece of legislation that was approved April 2016. European authorities have been given two companies, companies two years to comply, and it came into force Friday. Uh, the aim is to give consumers control of their personal data collected by companies. Not only will it affect organizations located within the EU, but it'll also, also apply to companies outside the region if they offer goods or services to or monitor the behavior of people in the block. So obviously, Cheap Breaker is, according to its privacy policy at least, uh, monitoring people's behavior, right? So it would technically, uh, you know, be in violation if it's not do of, of the GDPR, if it's not directly, you know, saying that it's going to be using your information. But it is, it is, you know, giving pretty uh, direct you know, consent, you're, you're pretty much consenting to it by downloading it, but there could be an argument made, which says that cheap breakers, you know, consent is not as specific as it should be. But this is the thing that, uh, that, that is very important. And let me just zoom in right here. Oops. I don't want to learn about Warren Buffett. Uh, anyway, so if I scroll down, it says companies will not be able to use vague or confusing statements to get you to agree with them to use data. So, is this vague or confusing? That could be argued, okay? I'm not, it, it, it's very, um, it's very, very, very difficult to, to argue about that. I'm not a lawyer. I can't tell what's vague and confusing and what's, what's, you know, not vague and confusing. Anyway, down here it says, we do not know it. Oh, wait, where is it? Sorry. Um, our services are directed to the United States citizens. If you are outside the United States, your information will be processed and stored in the United States and you are consenting to such transfer, processing, and storage under the laws of the United States, right? Which kind of makes sense because that would kind of bypass this i'm pretty sure because uh that means that because it's not in the eu they are it's in the u.s but it does say up here not only will it affect organizations located with the eu but it will also apply to companies outside the region if they offer goods and services to or monitor the behavior of people in the block which pretty much means that if cheap breaker is available in the eu then it is technically in violation of gdpr I'm pretty sure or it potentially could be, right? It potentially could be, right? Because, you know, it does say right here that if if it's monitoring the behavior of people in the block, and then here it says it's in the United States, right? But so if, if Chief Breaker is offered in the EU, there's a chance it could still violate the GDPR. Now, I'm not going to say it is or not because I'm not a lawyer. I can't tell. But there is something very important here. Consent must also be easy to withdraw. For children under 16, a person holding parental responsibility must opt in to data collection on their behalf. So that pretty much means that if Cheap Breaker is going to be, you know, released or used in the EU and someone under 16 is using it, they basically have to get their parents' consent, according to this at least, in order for Cheap Breaker to actually, you know, uh, get the information on their computer to detect the cheats and stuff, which is very interesting. Now... Okay, I noticed this while editing, and there's a section right here that says children under 13, and it says we do not knowingly collect information for any child under the age of 13. But the GDPR says under 16, so there's a three-year gap between 13 and 16, and I know a lot of people in the community are around that age, so I think that this, that's a little concerning because there's a three-year gap where Chief Breaker would be collecting the information, but according to EU law, the parents have to opt in, opt in which they aren't. So it's very, very, very interesting. But, you know, they could update it to, like, add an EU part or something. You know, it's, uh, you know, they, they can figure something out, right? I'm not too concerned about this, but I thought it was just interesting to think about. Is it actually violating the GDPR? Once again, I don't know. I don't know, but I thought this is interesting because, you know, it, it's, this is a good thing, right? Like, customers have, should have more control over how their data is used because that whole Facebook thing happened and stuff. So obviously that's a response to this, uh, to that. But, yeah, so I just wanted to go over this because, uh, I, I was just wondering, what do you guys think? Do you think it's breaking the GDPR? I'm not sure, but I'll see you guys later. Peace out.